to generate bone marrow derived macrophages for polarization analysis. Femur and tibia bones are isolated from mice and the bone marrow cells are collected. The cells are then cultured in medium containing growth factors to induce macrophage formation. After seven days of culture, the bone marrow derived macrophages are treated with various stimuli and polarized macrophage activation responses are analyzed by flow cytometry, real-time PCR and Western blot analysis. Results are obtained that show a high purity of bone marrow derived macrophages with polarized activation responses to either M1 or M2 stimuli. The implication of this technique is tend toward therapy or diagnosis of diabetes, associate disease including insulin resistance and atherosclerosis because tissue infiltrated macrophages are a major player in this context. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as isolation of bone marrow cell is somewhat difficult, and the yield is critical for obtaining sufficient starting cell preparation for inducing macrophage formation. Working in a sterile hood, begin this protocol with femur and tibia bones isolated from six to eight week old mice. In a tissue culture dish, rinse the bones in PBS. Then use scissors to cut open both ends of the bones, taking care not to remove too much. While holding the bone with forceps,